To my husband, to me, Ross, I cannot tell you how happy and proud it makes me that in a few moments you'll be calling me your wife. Ross Drynan, I cannot wait to marry you. Here's to the rest of our silly little lives together. I love you forever, Mrs Drynan to be. I told you a long time ago I don't want to get to the end of my life and say it's fine. You light up every room you're in, which is why I always try to be in the same room as you. Thank you for inspiring me, for saving me, for understanding me, for being sexy and for the <laughs> memories to come. Mrs Drynan, I love you more than yesterday. I can't imagine loving you more, but I said that for all of our yesterdays. Yours forever, Ross. Aww. Aww. I, Ross, promise to you, Lottie, before our family and friends, to stand by your side, to share and support your hopes and dreams. I vow to always be there for you. When you fall, I will catch you. When you cry, I will comfort you. When you laugh, I will share your joy. No, no matter what lies ahead of us, I will see it as a journey that can only be completed together. I promise this now and forever. I choose you to stand by your side and sleep in your arms, to learn with you and grow with you, even as time and life change us both. I promise to laugh with you in the good times and struggle, struggle alongside you, hand in hand, in the hard. I promise to share my passion, my dreams, and all that I have, except for my food. I promise to be your best friend, adventure buddy, and partner in life. With every beat of my heart, I will love you more and more, every day until forever, and I cannot wait to spend the rest of my life with you calling me your wife. Bring out the trouble in us Till all of it is gone
A year ago, Ross phoned me and asked to come and meet me. I figured that I knew what was coming. And when he asked for my daughter's hand in marriage, I said yes. She is my only daughter, the apple of my eye, and I know that Ross would look after her and she'll be in safe, capable hands. Enough said, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to welcome Ross to the Abbott's family and wish Charlotte and Ross all the happiness, health, wealth that they deserve. Cheers. Please be upstanding and drink it to a toast. The truth is, words are inadequate to describe how I feel about you, Lottie. So what I'm going to do instead is spend the rest of my life proving it to you in actions. I'll support you in everything you do. I'll share in your joy. I'll navigate through the tough times. I'll only have glutes and behind your back. <laughs> I'll drink lots of gin and dance with you in the kitchen. But most of all, I'll always be there for you. I just love you so much. And today is the proudest day of my life. And I'm so excited for what the huge future holds with for us. Woo! May I wish you both the happiest of marriages as, as, as today is the start of forever. Drink to each other's successes, applaud each other's achievements, listen to each other's problems, and console each other in times of trouble. Love, love unconditionally and laugh uncontrollably. Ladies and gentlemen, please be upstanding as I give to you the new Mr. and Mrs. Drynan. Life moves pretty fast, and if you don't stop and look around once in a while, you could miss it. So please, Lottie, Ross, look around, soak it in, enjoy it. Everyone's here for you both. Raise your glasses to Mr. Tummy Diaries and Mrs. Drynan. Pick me up. 